What up everybody, yeah I'm back on the grind We're at level 15 so time for storyline We've got Kenny Tete on that right back spot Great pace, the fan of his soul. let's see if he is hot, yeah What up everybody, welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 storyline player review We are at level 15 and we had to choose between Gomez, Morales and Kenny Tete Gomez is a little bit too slow for me. I don't like the pace. You can drop a shadow cam style on him and he will look really good. But you know, I have Endombele, I have Fabinho and I even heard a summer heat Sissoko is on the way. So yeah, no Gomez for me. Morales actually looks spectacular. If you are in need of a La Liga striker, definitely go for him. I already have Luka Jovic, Adoris, so I don't really need a 90 rated La Liga striker. I am going for the main man of this episode. Kenny Tete. He looks spectacular as well, 92 rated, nice and high. If I don't like him on the pitch, I can always throw him into an SBC. I already have 95 rated Danilo on that right back spot, so Kenny Tete, he's a nice bonus. Let's take a look at this card, but before we start, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button and let's get to 1000 subs. Alright guys, here we go. I can't believe that you chose Tete, man. I created Morales just to score goals. So first things first, Kenny Tete, 5'11", medium high work rate, is really good for a defender. 3 star, 3 star is okay. So this card already has great pace, defending and physical. I put an anchor cam style on him to boost those stats as well. Now he has 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. He also has 94 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, stand tackle and slide tackle. So he's really fast and he has perfect defending. The strength will go up to 95, aggression 99 and stamina 92. So I don't know if he's tall enough to head away the ball at the corner. He does have 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy. So those stats are phenomenal. His dribbling is also spectacular. He has 88 agility and dribbling. Those are the lowest stats, but at 99 balance, 97 reactions, 96 composure and 93 ball control. That is really fantastic. Lastly, his passing. He does have 96 short pass, but the long pass 84. And the vision 79 is really low so don't be too spectacular with your passing just keep it simple to the player next to you so yeah like i said with that anchor cam style you're maxing out the pace defending and physical so you might even use him as a secondary cdm or as your main cdm when you sub him in so this is the team i will rock kenny tete in up front i've got finishes jr luka jovic and takafusa kubo in the midfield modric Burkamp, and frankie de jong I've got Frankie de Jong from a two-player pack for a rival win, so that was a sick pull. In the defense, Mandi, Thiago Silva, Marquinhos and Kenny Tete, Ingo, Van der Sar, everybody on 10 cam. Nice! What time is it? Game time! Boom. Vinicius with the free kick, let's select Jovic, play it near post, make the run and the volley, ooh, rebound, ah, oh, there we go, what a beautiful free kick from Vinicius Jr and a beautiful goal from Luka Jovic. 1-0 up, nice, Marquinhos, Frankie, on to Tete, Tete making the run, he is fast, and gets stopped by Maguire, now there's some space there, Tete, with the bad pass, Tete, interception, loses the ball to Ilicic, gets it back, alright, there we see some of his strength, nice ball roll, and a good pass, on to Modric, Nice, Jovic, back to the center. Oh, that was a horrible turn. Ah, I sucked, I sucked there. I should have shot immediately. You are a worthless piece of shit, pile. Get out of my face! Kubo, onto Ennombele, with the drag back. Some space in the center there, Modric, onto Frankie. Frankie with the dribble, ball roll. Now what the fuck is that? <laughs> and out of the stadium. That was a horrible shot from Frankie, but we get the ball from the goal kick. Luka Jovic with the finish. Thank you very much. 2-0 up. That was a nice gift from the goalie after that horrible miss by Frankie. Luka Jovic, 2-0. Oh my god. That was too easy. There was so much space there. All three of you are pathetic. Tete. Oh, Tete is too late. Uh, Marquinhos can't stop him. Oh my god, what is going on? In two minutes, he's back to two all. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. Frankie, nice dribbling, great drag back there. 
Some more dribbles in, that's the Frankie we know. Some more. Ah. Ah, that's a red card. Nice, Tete with the strength and the drag back. There we go. Oh, Tete is getting cocky. Shit. Loses the ball there. Uh, I tried to select... Oh my god. I tried to select the other defender, but it wouldn't do. Shit just got real. Marquinhos. On to Tete. With a beautiful ball. On to Rashford. There we go. Luka Jovic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ten men. Back to three all. That's what we needed. Great assist from Rashford. Beautiful goal. Luka Jovic with the hat trick. And Dombele. And Dombele on to Vinicius. Vinicius with space. The fake shot. And the finesse. Oh, shot blocked by Virgil. Oh. Frankie. Nice. Great interception. Beautiful pass. Modric. On to Vinicius. Vinicius with the dribble. Vinicius near post. Ooh, what a save by Pope. Incredible. Do it! Oh, again. It's a horrible Just goal kick. Do it! Oh, I read that one good. Jovic, there we go. Four goals by Luka Jovic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't need Morales. I've got a Luka Jovic. Beautiful. And Nombele. On to Modric. Marquinhos. Frankie. So much space for Vinicius. With the stop. And the finesse. There we go. Vinicius and Luka Jovic. The Real Madrid duo. Nice lead on. 5-3. And he is gone. Couldn't handle it anymore. Stop that guy. You got that Udegaard. Nice stop by Ferlamondi. He feels so much more OP than a Kenny Tete. That's a beautiful through ball onto Vinicius. That's some nice dribbling. And the finish. Oh my god. That was blocked by Jovic. Otherwise it would have been a goal. And the Sar. Onto Sar. Mandi. Vinicius making the run. Going back to the center. Onto Frankie. Frankie with some dribbling skills. Ooh, Frankie feels good as well. Great player. Jovic. With the pass. Kenny Tete. With a ball onto Modric. Can we get the assist from Tete? Oh, shot blocked. Ah. Oh, there we go. Kenny Tete with the interception. Beautiful. Finally a good interception. As a CDM. Frankie onto Kenny Tete. Modric. Back to Modric. Some space in the center. There we go. Kubo! Beautiful. 1-0 up. It started with the interception from Kenny Tete and it ends with Takefusa Kubo with the finesse. Pop, 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 pop. That's what I want. See if we can get this ball real quick. Oh, wow. That's a gift. Vinicius. Nice fake shot. Great dribble there. Oh man, this guy is not pressing anything. <laughs> there we go. Oh, saved. Oh, rebound. I don't know why that first shot from Vinicius was not in the corner, but Luka Modric with the rebound. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Vinicius making another run. Nice. Vinicius. Such a monster. Tete. Can we get an assist with Kenny? Frankie, back to Tete. Can we get a goal with Tete? That would be even better. We can, we can, the shot. Oh, I swear I pressed near post. He shot right at the goalie. Nice interception from Marquinhos. On to Tete. Modric making a run. Ah oh, man, I, I pressed to pass to Modric. Back to Tete, now he passes to Modric. Low driven. Oh, what a save by the goalie. Seems that we cannot get an assist with Tete. 2,000 years later. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he is gone. So I played a few matches with Kenny Tete and he is decent, but he doesn't feel really dominant like a Furlamandi or like a Danilo. Those two are so overpowered, you cannot go through.
With Ganitete, I didn't have that feeling, so he will not be in my starting 11. You can always try him out as a secondary CDM, as a super sub, but again, I've got Regilon, I've got Mbabu, and honestly, Fabio and Endobele, they never run out of juice, so I never sub them out. So I guess I'm sorry, Kenny, you're going to be SBC. But don't worry, I still have a lot of 90 rated players that I can throw into SBCs, so you might survive this month or you might survive August. Alright guys, this was it for this episode, hopefully you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, I will see you in the next vid, later!